In the 1400s, the age of discovery got started for one main reason. The fact that Muslim nations controlled the rich trade in silks, spices, jewels, and porcelains from the great Asian civilizations of the Far East, a trade that few European countries were allowed to share in. The Muslim nations could control this trade because they ruled key lands between Europe and the great trading centers of Eastern Asia. And they refused to let European Christians pass through them. Muslim traders brought goods from the Far East in two ways. By camel caravans, thousands of miles overland, or in small ships from India, which crossed the Indian Ocean into the Red Sea. From Red Sea ports, Asian goods usually were carried overland to the Nile River, where they went by ship down the river to the Mediterranean Sea. Once they reached the Mediterranean ports, the Muslim traders would sell their goods only to merchants from the Italian city-states of Genoa and Venice. And the Italian merchants then brought the Asian goods to Europe, where they were resold for a big profit. And because of this, both of these city-states grew rich and powerful. Other European countries wanted to share in the wealth brought by trade in Asian spices and silks, but the Italian and Muslim traders refused to let them in. This was why in the early 1400s, Spain and Portugal started to look for ways of going around the Muslim countries so they could trade directly with Asia. But it was clear that to do this, new sea routes to the east would have to be found. But to be able to sail such extremely long distances, they had to learn a lot more about the science of navigation, which let sailors find the positions of their ships at sea, or they could get hopelessly lost. <laughs> 